hello my dear students this is one of the very important topic for you class 7 that is soil now as you know the valuable things which occur in the nature are called natural resources they are the gift of the nature to us soil is one such important natural resource soil is the top most layer of the earth surface in which the plants grow now where does this word soil derive from it is derived from the latin word solum which means earthly material soil is a mixture of different types of rock particles the remains of dead plants and animals as we know soil is a very important natural resource but how was it formed it is a very important question isn't it now soil formation was not very steady and very fast it is a very slow and gradual process it took thousands of years to form a layer of soil by the breakdown of the rocks and this process of breakdown of the rocks is called withering withering is done by the action of water ice wind temperature and even living organisms what is the composition of soil soil is composed of a mixture of soil particles or rock particles organic matter known as humus water air and soil organisms the soil particles comprises the clay silt sand gravel and stone soil also contain organisms like bacteria and fungi these microorganisms like bacteria and fungus plays a very important role in the soil some bacteria that converts the atmospheric nitrogen into soluble nitrogen components and these are used by plant in return and this process is called nitrogen fixation soil profile what do we mean by this term generally when we see the soil we see only the surface but if we dig a hole in the ground usually we do during the laying of the foundation of a building what do we see we see that the color of the soil changes as we go deeper even the size of the rock pieces also changes such a view of the soil is called soil profile soil profile is defined as the vertical section of the soil that grows in different layers now each layer differ in texture color depth and chemical composition these layers are referred to as horizons of the soil there are three main layers of the soil they are the top soil which is also known as a horizon the subsoil the b horizon the parent rock or the c horizon and finally the bedrock let's discuss some important points about these horizons the a horizon which is also known as top soil is the uppermost layer of the soil which is dark in color since it is formed of humus and smallest particles of the soil it is the most fertile layer of the soil that contain the organic nutrients that is needed for the growth of the plants the roots of the small plants are confined to this layer only but in case of large trees the roots may go deep down in the b horizon as well this layer is generally soft porous and can retain more water b horizon or subsoil subsoil is the layer below the top soil or the a horizon it is lighter in color than the top soil and it does not have much humus in it it is usually harder and more compact than the top soil it is rich in soluble minerals and iron oxides rain waters get collected in this layer c horizon or parent rock parent rock is the layer below the subsoil it is made up of small lumps of rock which cracks and crevices the rain water collected in this region also ultimately the bedrock below the parent rock there is a solid rock called the bedrock it is non porous and hard and cannot be dug with a spade rain water collects over the bedrock forming a water table my dear students this was the just introductory part of the chapter of the soil in the next upcoming video i will discuss about the various types of soil their importances and their composition i will also describe an activity that you can perform easily in your house and for knowing more about the upcoming videos related to this chapter you just stay tuned with me for that if you have not yet subscribed the channel do subscribe my channel and please do 
press the like button if you have liked the content of the video thanks for watching stay safe stay happy bye